Having a bootable installer for really any operating system is something I've done many, many times over the years and is something you should probably do just in case. Be it from your machines running slow, you want to do a clean install, start from scratch. Maybe your system's corrupt and you want to fix it. Maybe you buy a computer that doesn't have an operating system on it. Maybe you upgrade the drive in your computer and want to put an operating system on it. You're looking to sell your computer and don't want anyone to have your info or Maybe you upgraded to a beta version of some software and you want to go back to stock. Today, I'm going to show you how to do that for Mac OS 12 Monterey. Let's get started. So there are some prerequisites for this. You're gonna need a couple things. A Mac, flash drive, preferably USB 3.0 and a minimum of 16 gigs. You have something newer, faster, that'll work fine. And even if you don't have a USB 3 flash drive, you can do it on USB 2. It's just gonna take exponentially longer. I'll leave a link down below to Amazon for some 16 gig USB 3.0 flash drives as I always do with these types of videos. And then lastly, you'll need an internet connection. So let's hop right into it. First step, take your flash drive, plug it into the Mac. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is check your flash drive. Make sure there's nothing on it that you want to keep. Take them, put them on the desktop because once we start this process, everything on this drive will get deleted, like irrecoverably deleted, and you're you're not getting it back. So just take a couple seconds to make sure anything important on that flash drive has been moved elsewhere. Once you've done that, what you want to do is just take a note of the name. So in my case, it's my volume, just for copy and paste purposes, make it quicker and easier for me. Yours probably won't. If you want to rename it my volume right now, go right ahead. It's not a required step, but you can do it. What we're going to want to do is we're gonna wanna go to Safari, and I'll have this link down in the description below. This is Apple's official support page for how to create a bootable installer for Mac OS. Exactly what we're doing. So, we're gonna download Mac OS. Now this is where it might deviate for some people. So if you're on Ventura like me, it's not gonna wanna let you download the older version. So we can click on it, it'll bring us up in the App Store, and we can see the page, but when we click Get, It'll take us to the software update pane in oh, system settings now, since Ventura, and it'll check and it, it won't it won't let you downgrade. Now if you're on Monterey or Big Sur or something something a little older, this probably won't happen. You'll be able to just straight up download it, no problem. However, if you do encounter this problem, if you are say on Ventura Beta or further down the line, you're on full Ventura, in the description I'll have a link to a GitHub page for a program called Download Full Installer. It does exactly what it says. It downloads the full installer for really every currently available version of Mac OS. You see, we have everything down to Big Sur 11.5.2, which was almost a year ago at this point, all the way up to Mac OS Ventura Beta. But what we're after is Monterey 12.5. It might be different at this time, might be 12.5.1, 12.6. But what you'll wanna do is just click on the download arrow and it will start downloading. It will download a uh, .pkg file into your downloads. Just open it, run it, install it, and it will move the installer to your applications folder right about here. Can't be open from a newer version of Mac OS, which is fine. We don't want to necessarily open the installer itself. So we can close out of pretty much everything except for Safari. All we're going to want to do is scroll down a bit more and then we want to copy this command. I'll have it linked in the description as well. Um, we're just going to copy it. And then we're gonna go find terminal. So it'll pull up Spotlight or go to Applications, Utilities, Terminal, and just open Terminal. And then we're gonna paste it and it'll be sudo super user do slash applications slash install backslash macOS backslash Monterey dot app slash contents slash resources slash create install media dash dash volume slash volumes slash my volume. So where it says my volume has to coincide with your flash drive's name, character for character. So again, for copy and paste sake, my volume is named my volume and it has to it has to be the exact same thing as it says on here and if you don't feel like typing it out you can actually delete everything up to slash volumes drag it from the desktop and drop it in and it will auto populate so once you do that hit return it'll ask you for your administrator password this is the same password you use to sign into your mac and it'll tell you it's ready to start to continue we need to erase the volume at slash volumes slash my volume again that's going to coincide with the name of your flash drive. If you wish to continue, type Y, then press return. This is the point of no return. At once you hit Y, enter, everything on that drive's gone. It's gonna get reformatted. You are not getting anything back from this point. So again, T, 
take a couple seconds, double, triple, quadruple check. Everything that you have on that flash drive is somewhere else if you need it. Once you're done with that, why? return. It's going to start erasing the disk and uh, this can be a pretty quick or slow process depending on the drive, version of Mac OS, the computer, and really how much your computer likes you. So I'm going to cut this camera and we're going to time lapse this and uh, we'll check back in when it's done. Yeah, that took a while, but we're done. It says install media now available at slash volumes slash install Mac OS Monterey. And uh, if we come over here to the flash drive, you'll see the Mac OS Monterey app is here. It's not as simple as that though. Like you can't just drag and drop the f there's, there's other files in here. The system just doesn't want you to see them. So now that we have it, what we do to, to restore our system is we shut it off. And there's two ways that this works, one for Intel and one for Apple Silicon. For an Intel machine, you wanna hold Alt or Option, depending on the keyboard you have, and press your power button. It'll boot up into the boot picker and you wanna select Install Mac OS Monterey. Apple Silicon Macs, however, are a little different. So you wanna start the same, you wanna shut it down. You're gonna press and hold the power button. No, no keyboard, press and hold the power button. It'll chime, it'll say loading startup options, keep holding it it'll tell you when to stop and then you'll want to select the flash drive from that boot picker and you're off to the races so this is a quick sort of inexpensive way to just kind of cover your ass in case something bad happens or just just in case you need it flash drives are super cheap now you can get them for like five six bucks and taking maybe 30 minutes today might save you about four or five hours of ripping your hair out sometime in the future I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. Why are you reinstalling macOS Monterey? I want to know. Does Ventura suck? Are you having issues with Monterey? Or did you buy a new Mac that doesn't have anything? Let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next video.